Hi everyone, it's Georgia here from the team at Insert Frame. We are the builders of Framer Forms. And today I wanted to walk you through how to add an overlay success message to your Framer Form. And we'll just discuss a little bit on success messages in general. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously nab a Framer Forms account. Once you've done that, sign in. Um, we can do that really quickly. Brilliant. And once you're here, you can see all the inputs that are available um, to copy and start building your form. Now I've jumped right ahead and got my form ready to go. Um, I might have sneakily nabbed a template from the Frame of Forms dashboard. So that's a handy tip for you as well. Now I've got my form here and I've already built a success message page. Um, so I could use this as well, but I wanted to show you a little bit today, like how we can make an overlay effect. So what we'll do is on the submit button, we're actually going to add an overlay and we want to click relative and we just want to design this a little bit. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Yeah, so that it pops up after they've clicked submit. Now keep it on success. And obviously you can design this to however you'd like. It's similar to any other overlay. Um, what I'm going to do just for, you know, quick, quick sake, for timing's sake, I guess you could say, I'm going to nab this success message on here. And we'll put it in our overlay. Awesome. So that's kind of what I want it to look like. Um, and let's see what happens once I've done that. Okay, done. Cool. So some other things that you want to do in your submit button is obviously add your um, URL. So the place that you want all your form content to go to, you know, is that Zapier? Is it FormSpark? Is it FormSpree? Just that um, integration collection tool. Um, another consideration is um, instead of using an overlay, you could redirect to another page, which is what I originally had, but we're not going to use that for now. Um, you can also design your submit button however you'd like, but for timing's sake, let's have a look at what the overlay looks like. Okay. So, you know, let's <laughs> pretend I haven't put all that in. Um, let's try again. Um, hello. Okay. And then, you know, obviously I've added file uploads, but you know, that's not what you have to do. And if I click submit, awesome. My success message is working. Obviously I definitely suggest spending a little bit more time on, um, creating a nice and beautiful design, but that's, that's basically how to add an overlay. Um, so I hope that helps guys and um, thanks and hopefully I'll see you in another documentation video.